What's up guys? 370 Gaming here, and we're back with episode 12 of the Local to Global series for TEW 2013. And I saw some of you guys in the comments were kind of freaking out that uh, after I uploaded my first New Japan series, uh, my first New Japan episode for the series, that I was going to stop doing my Local to Global series. Of course I'm not going to stop doing my Local to Global series, man. That's what this channel was, was founded on. That's what built my channel, man. That was the whole... That's the whole idea, is that I keep running with this series until it becomes global, you know? And I mean, time will tell if I actually, you know, A, get to global, or B, stick with it long enough to get to global. I, I'm sure I will. I don't see that changing anytime soon. But, uh, yeah, no, I would never just stop doing this series, like, in favor of another series. The The idea was to bring a little bit of variety with the New Japan series, and I've been hoping to do 2K16 footage, but... um. Multiple things have stopped me from that, and now, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you downloaded the uh, Future Stars pack for uh, WB 2 k 16 it kind of like screws up all your universe and stuff, and thankfully I wasn't like too far in, in like trying to build my universe, but I had made some steps to hopefully uh, do that, to hopefully get a series going on YouTube, but now... I kind of don't want to make any moves until the last DLC is out, and so I can just download it and we can just start fresh and, and things like that. And I still might do the Road to Universe mode series I was talking about before, but um, the major problem with that is is that number one, every time I try to use the Elgato, it it just goes wonky, it, it messes up. I don't know what the deal is. And number two. I gotta get more space, my hard drive's running low. Anyways, you guys didn't want to hear that. That was a long rambling intro. Thank you for listening. If you did, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Let's go on to the the real big stuff here, man. The the series. What what you what you turned the video on for, man. You didn't want to hear me just blabber on for no reason, but that's kind of my gimmick, so. Uh yeah. So, uh as always, I take your guys' comments from each video and I try to I try to use them in some form you know, for some benefit of this video, and uh, I got a lot of, you know, things to go over here. Um, oh, before that, sorry, sorry, I know I'm all over the place. Uh, I wanted to pimp out my homie at Curb Stomp City. Go look up Curb Stomp City on YouTube. He's got an awesome local to global series for TW 2013. Really well done. Great layout. He's got, like, a shop where you can, like, buy... Curb Stomp City shirts, dude. I thought that was just fucking crazy, man. That was some really good stuff. And he's got this really interesting angle with this mystery demise character. I love it, man. I'm loving it. So, currently watching episode 5. He gets an episode up every Monday. So, go check him out, Curb Stomp City. Definitely, man. Free plug for you, bro. I don't know what that's worth, you know, like at my current like, level. But, uh, hope that works for you, man. He deserves any any little attention I can I could possibly give him <laughs> because it's great work man great work um other than that oh I also wanted to know I had to try new audio settings for OBS so let me know if the audio sounds weird on this episode thanks in advance for that now let's go to your guys comments about stuff uh, there were some people you guys wanted me to hire and look into and some of them I'll be able to some of them I won't be able to for example um, one of you mentioned getting Conan in as a road agent, and I would I would love to, being that he has an 80 psychology. However, he's like 1650 like in appearance, and um, that's a little little too much, being that I am down seven thousand uh, dollars. How many shows did we do in January? So that was the one where we ran like four shows, so three four shows. Three shows? Three shows. Whatever. Uh, oh, you know what? Were they... They weren't any different size. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't pretend to know, like, I know the magic number of shows to run, or or maybe they were just bad. I don't know. But anyways, um, what was I getting at here? Yeah, Conan's a little too much. Sorry. Sorry about that. We'll, we'll work on that. In fact, let me go shortlist him, because he is a very good road agent for for me rather than uh my boy apollo he does he does what he can and i appreciate having him around but uh you know if we can get conan in there might have to boot him out uh got another one of you guys asking for jervis cottonbelly i think he would be a great 
great addition to the roster. I think he would. So he's 230. So I already have some hirings in, in mind. So he's going to be on the short list for right now. But we're definitely, 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 definitely coming back to Jervis Cotton Valley. He is a gentleman, an absolute gentleman. Yes, he is. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, okay. So what I did want to do right now is we're bringing in Los Ice Creams. We are bringing them in right now because they're going to be a vital part. See, because they're like three, th so they'll be like six, seven hundred, whereas Conan was like twelve. What was he sixteen hundred? I already forgot. I already forgot what he was. He's yeah, he's like sixteen fifty. The ice creams together are are cheaper. So I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to go with them for now. Uh, we're gonna do. Two years, three years, two years, three years, two years, three years, three years, three years. At 3.30 in appearance, that's fine with me. Okay, yep. Los Ice Creams are the tag team of the future. Very much so, he's cheaper, that's that's fine. So, tag team of the future right here, Los Ice Creams. Good shit, good shit, good shit. And, uh, yeah, they're gonna... I got a plan for them down the road here. Um... I got a couple more notes before we go here. Um, eventually, I was I was brought up by somebody in the comments. I'm sorry I don't remember like all your guys' names. Like I have so many comments that it's a lot to go through. Like <laughs> sorry about that. But one of you mentioned um, having a women's division, and as I mentioned in episode one, uh, I absolutely plan on having a women's division, mostly spearheaded by Kana. Uh, I don't believe she was taken at this point in the game. Yep, so she was available. So she's 650. Yeah, so that would be that would be something to look at. So I absolutely have full intentions of getting a women's division. I'm going to wait until we're a bit bigger and have a bit more money, because, well, I don't want to wait until we're too big and then the women are like lower stature than the men and we got to build them back up. I want to try to build everybody on an even playing field. Uh, you know, I, ideally, in the perfect world, but, you know, we got to see what goes on. So, when I get bigger, uh, I'd like to join the World Wrestling Network Alliance. Right now, it's not happening, you know. I, I assume it's a size thing. Is that not a size thing? If it's not a size thing, let me know. But, um, I tried, I tried a, a test save, and, and I tried joining them, and I was, like, small, uh, or, or cult or something, and it was, they were, they were like, yeah, come on, come on in, you know, so, I'd like to join them, get some loans from Shine, things like that, you understand what I'm saying, so that would be the major plan for, uh, the women's division, I'll probably sign Kana, and like, uh, maybe Leva Bates, you know, blue pants, like, off the top, uh, and then I would just basically use loans here and there to try to build up a little a little women's division, you know what I mean? But that's going to be, like, for a while. So I, But I have that noted. Everybody, you know, that's really looking forward to that, know that I have that in mind, okay? So that's what I wanted to get to there. We also had somebody request that I look into um, eventually hiring, like, some legends like Ric Flair and, like, Scott Hall. So Ric Flair's left the business, so that's not happening. Scott Hall, what's he doing? He's fifteen twenty. So I'm open to having a couple legends. I mean, I mostly want to build a fresh roster. That was kind of the idea, except the insane clown posse, of course. But uh, you know, I'm down to have some some uh, one or two legends. But um, yeah, the roster's kind of thick already, and yeah, they're just a little expensive at this point. So that's gonna have to wait as well. Um, okay, I got, bun I got like, just notes on notes on notes, notes on notes on notes, lots of notes. Anyways, we've got a groundswell of support for Johnny Cockstrong. Everybody, goddamn, everybody loves Johnny Cockstrong. I love Johnny Cockstrong. Johnny Cockstrong is your favorite member of the TTW roster, and we all know that. We knew that from day one. But I've really gotten just a lot of comments about Johnny Cockstrong, and uh, he'll be getting a push, so I want to guarantee you that he'll be getting a push. So don't freak out about Johnny Cockstrong, he'll be getting his own push going on. Um, 
And I think that's about it. I'm going to cover something else later on when we start getting to the matches and things like that. So let's go to the schedule. And, ooh, I'm going to have to take care of some of these. Uh, we're going to run just to, to make some money. I'm just, you know, like I said, I don't know like what's exactly going on. But what I'm going to do, we're going to run two events this month or in the foreseeable future. Um, the first one is just going to be that, and we're going to do TTW before the hangover. So this is just going to be kind of like a, not a pre-show, but like a setup show. It's going to be like a road to show, but, but just one show. It's not, you, you understand what I'm saying here? So it'll be, it'll be, yeah, yeah, two hours. Yeah. Is that, is that too much? I feel like I want to run, what was it? An hour and a half normally? Generally, they're an hour and a half. Yeah, we'll do an hour and a half, and then two hours for Hangover. So that's what we're going to do for that. So it'll be before the Hangover. It'll be, like I said, it's a setup show, basically. Let's do it on... We need some time to get the ice creams in there. It's week one. Uh, I'm going to go end of week two. Should we do that? End of week two? Anybody? Huh? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Go to the end of week two. Anybody booked? Okay, whoa. What do we got here? Oh, Dalton Castle. Okay, so we could go... What's going on Saturday? Oh, shit. Saturday's a big day for everybody. Let's go Sunday week two? You wanna go Sunday week two? Let's go Sunday week two. Sunday week two. Before the hangout. Well, how? Well, when was um? Oh, that's fine for now. When was New Year's Bash, week one? Uh, I would space stop. There's no point in really spacing it out. That's not, yeah. <clears throat> so also, let me take care of the schedule real quick. I want to take out some of these. Um, I'm probably gonna keep go dog go. I'm not gonna lie. But up up and away is gonna be. How do I inactive these again? I already forgot. Schedule, it is. Do I not inactive them? Do I just? I don't want to remove it. Am I coming off really stupid here? Like, like I could swear that there was just like, oh, uh, yeah, there you go, dormant. Thank you. Okay, I figured it out. See you guys. You don't have to write hateful comments. Everything's fine. I, fi I figured it out. Okay, everything's cool. Over the moon is getting trashed. Uh, balls to the wall is probably getting trashed. <laughs> oh my god, these names. Um, I'm I'm liking these so far. Desperate measures brings back awful misspelling memories. So we won't be doing that. And well, I think we can leave everything else as is basically for now so we're going to have before the hangover and then we're going to have the hangover basically TTW hangover uh, uh, trivia little trivia tip here the text for hangover is the watchdogs text you know that video game watchdogs yeah that was what that was so if you're wondering what the hell is that that's what it is uh, I'm sure if you just look up Watch Dogs font, you can get it real easily. But if you guys want, I'll like put it in the description or something. Let me know. This will be two hours. Um, I can only run small, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, da, 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 2016. And we will probably not have too much. Let's throw in a band. Let's throw in a local band. Fuck it. Sure. And we'll go in March 1, February 4? February 4, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That should be good. Okay, so we got Before the Hangover and Hangover. Schedule is set up. We are good to go. I've covered most everything. Uh, da 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 hangover. I've got some plans through to the next pay-per-view 
which pay-per-view it's not a fucking pay-per-view it's an event in a shitty high school gym but uh <laughs> but uh TTW Uprising will be after the hangover um so I got some plans for that we won't make that right now though I don't have a logo for that or anything all right so we will get going here sorry to just ramble on and, and take up your guys time but uh I like to be sure what the hell's going on so um I'll see you probably when Los Ice Cream sign up all right, guys, I think one day went by. That was exhilarating. Uh, Roddy Piper has retired. That's that's too bad. Shane Douglas. Oh, okay, he's going to retire too. All right. And New Japan. Oh, no, we're, we're not dealing with anything New Japan on this save. No, 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 no. Los Ice Creams! We've got them. We've got them under contract. Let's fucking do it. Yes. Uh, they're absolutely faces. I don't know what you guys think, but they're the face fucking tag team I've ever heard, I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. So first of all, let me get them in a team. Let me get them in a team. Hello. Damn, that took a long time. Okay. He held the ice cream. Ice cream junior. Yeah. Low size creams. There we go. Excellent. I don't know much about them, like, in real life, so I don't know, like, what their finisher is. If you know what their finisher is, let me know, and I'll add their finisher. Uh, yeah. But otherwise, good times there. Low size creams. What we got? Upper mid. And mid. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So, that's great. That's good development. Oh, two days went by. Either way. Alright, we got a new team, so we can put them in a pre-show, you know, see how they see how they go as time goes on. Until then, we're gonna go before the hangover, hopefully, but, you know, six days, probably something's gonna happen, so we will see. Alright, we're back again with the multi-advance stopped. How many how many days did it go by this time? You see, I, I leave, I get up and leave because I don't want to fucking sit there and stare like for six hours at the loading screen again. But of course, of course it only goes one day when I leave. Seventeen's unhappy. So, really? What, you're unhappy with being a fucking jobber? You want to be a lower mid-carder? Oh, is this going to be the time where everybody wants to be repackaged as something like Brandon Watts you gonna tell me next no okay you're irritated huh well should I give him a bonus I mean I don't want him to be like unhappy but you know I don't really have any intentions of like doing anything with him anytime soon I give him time off no exclusive deal duh I could give him I'll give him a hundred dollars. Should I do it? Is it worth it? It's worth giving. I'm a nice boss. I'm gonna give him a hundred dollars. Good. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Employees, huh? What are you gonna do with them? Anyways, five days till before the hangover. Let's let's fucking let's go. Okay, let's go. All right. Naturally, as I sat here this time and looked at the days go by, uh, we should be basically at the show and Hulk Hogan is staying with WWE because in this world you know all that stuff didn't happen so there you go good for Hulk Hogan and good for WWE ACH what's wrong with ACH wait now you're you're mad that you were left off night was he left off night 3 what happened on night 3 Oh, Road to New Year's Bash. Dude, who cares about Road to New Year's Bash? Are you serious? I mean, I know it's all the same shit, like, you know. Oh my god, Road to New Year's Bash had 76 people, where New Year's Bash had 37 people. That's just sad. That's just sad. Anyways, whatever. Let's not worry about that. ACH, definitely gotta give you some money. 
give you some money, please, at a bonus. I don't want ACH to be upset. He's a star player. He really is. <clears throat> and I guess we'll put him on the card tonight, Mr. I don't get fucking booked. How many companies are you booked with right now, dude? Or are you just a ROH right now? No, dude, PWG, ROH, AW. You don't have enough work? Like, you should have plenty of work, man. You shouldn't be freaking out about the local Las Vegas company that barely draws fucking 20 people to a gym, okay? Okay, man? Just calm down. Calm down, ACH. Let's go to the before the hangover, the pre-show of the hang of hangover, TTW hangover. Uh, yeah. Ice Cream Jr.'s working elsewhere tonight, huh? Didn't think about that. Didn't think about that. So I guess Los Ice Cream's debut will come at another time. They weren't planned to be, like, in a major match on Hangover or something. But, like, if they were, I could have booked them on here, like, pre-show. I don't know. That just bums me out. That little bit bums me out. So, um, oh... So, let's go first to uh, another one of your guys' comments that was just amazing. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry I don't remember your name. But I, I remember the comments, and I remember the, the awesomeness it was. It was this crazy, awesome fantasy booking uh, for the Adam Cole-Marcus Owens feud. And I know that... Um, oh, by the way, it should be up now, by the way. If I'm not already... If it's not already there... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it involves, you know, uh, Cole stealing the title and, and Marcus Owens just, you know, all this crazy stuff going on. And it really it really makes for good stuff. And, and I'm going, I don't want to just take, like, exactly what you said, like, exactly 100%. Because I just feel like there needs to be more originality than, like, me taking from somebody. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how you guys feel about that. But I feel like it should be, like, at least mostly my own work. Does that make sense? Like, if somebody just books the show for me, like... I don't know, I don't know, but I'm definitely, definitely taking the major parts of that, and so all credit, all credit to you, faithful commenter, I appreciate that very much, uh, you know, so the major stuff, like Cole stealing the title, that's probably gonna most likely happen, um, but with, with, with tweaks, and, and things like that, so, yeah, we're gonna start all that off on Before the Hangover, so let's get a... What, what do we get here? I want Truth Martini to come out. He has got something to say after my chair makes noise when I lean. Because I need a new chair. Uh, after uh, Kindred, his his spirit animal, his king of darkness, his, his, you know, his monster from beyond the grave, whatever fucking wacky name he's got for him, you know, he lost, you know, and, and this is not, this does not settle well with Truth Martini, as you would think, as you would imagine. Uh, so let's do, what do we got here? Manager and client argue. I wouldn't say they, they're not mad at each other. That doesn't have anything to do with it. Client taunts worker, warns worker. Warn, clients warn work now. Manager and their clients. Why, why are there multiple? Oh, because I'm stupid and I can't read. Client taunt worker. Manager and their client taunt another. That'll work. Okay, so, Manager, Truth Martini, and Kindred talk about Marcus Owens. So, the basic premise here is Truth Martini and Kindred come out, and Truth is none too happy. Kindred is visibly upset, although he's not yelling and freaking out like uh, Truth is, but Truth is just yelling, and he's saying... You know, he he yells and he's he's just getting all of his feelings out. He's just he's losing his mind, and then he he kind of you know he recomposes himself. He's like, but but I I lobbied to the higher ups, and we've got Kindred a rematch for the TTW Championship, and this time I've been assured it is no disqualification. So you know he, he kind of calms himself down. He's like, all right, you know we're gonna take care of this. This is gonna be dealt with, you know. And so he kept the promo, and you know. Kindred is just like he's like fuming. Like whereas Truth Martini is kind of calming down, Kindred's kind of getting more fired up because uh, he wants that title back, man. He's like this. This is some bullshit, man. I'm I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna stand here, you know. So this will go on for 
eight, nine minutes? Eight minutes? Big fucking, like, raw opening promo. Truth Martini and Kindred promo for rematch. So they will have the rematch at Hangover. Uh... Uh, Kindred and Marcus Owens for the TTW Championship. And that's what's going to happen there. So we will have another match. Uh, no, we won't. Hold on. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think what I got. Look at my notes. Um, let me work on that. Keep that there. Keep Stay right there with that. Uh, another thing we're going to do is... Who was... Happy Meal was feuding with ACH, right? That was that was the big feud, right? What was it there? New Year's Bash. Nobility won the tag team. Yeah, we're going to have a celebration from the Nobility tonight. And ACH defeats Happy Meal. Okay. So, basically what we're going to do is have um, Happy Meal, there's going to be like a skit backstage, more or less, and Johnny Cockstrong's going to accidentally piss off, not accidentally, but like inadvertently, maybe, eh, let's see, let's see what kind of, what kind of options we got here, because I don't want it to be that one where it's like, oh, he bumps in and like spills hot coffee on Happy Meal, like that's stupid, no, but what do we have here, collecting a bounty, battle royal number, Found secret wrestler, huh? Okay. Hanging out with band. We can actually do that at a at the uh, hangover because <laughs> we're gonna have a local band. Just talk to uh, just talks to fucking ACH or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Skit, skit, skit. Worker arrested. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. How about, like, 1v1? Or backstage? What am I trying to do here? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to trying to get this... Get this here. Leading to 1v1. Bump into each other and an argument starts. And books them. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess that's basically going to be it. So, basically... Uh, Happy Meal is just really unhappy. He's an unhappy meal, basically. Is, is, is <laughs> he's an unhappy meal? Is what I'm trying to say here. And Johnny Cockstrong, you know, he's walking backstage, and and he just kind of he might inadvertently bump into him, or if he's just in his way, and Happy Meal's just pissed off, then who knows? Who knows what his fucking problem is, right? So participant one challenge. Yep. So we're gonna have Happy Meal challenge Johnny Cockstrong. Happy Meal challenges Johnny Cockstrong to a match. Okay, so we got that going on. So we'll do that match right now. And we've got a little something planned here. So we've got Happy Meal and Johnny Cockstrong. Johnny Cockstrong comes out second to get that big face pop. You know what I'm saying? That's what we, we want, the nice hot crowd for this match. So let's run this about 10 minutes, I think. 12 minutes. Should we just go the full 12 minutes? Let's go the full 12 minutes. 11 minutes. Compromise. Happy Meal, Johnny Cockstrong. Here we go. So, Apollo books the match, of course. We will have... Uh, the idea here is Happy Meal goes over via the interference of who else but Veda Scott. Veda Scott. The issue will never end between Johnny Cockstrong and Veda Scott. And it may or may not have, like, a Kafu Happy Meal situation go on there. But for now, this is all we know, is that Veda Scott attacked Johnny Cockstrong and Happy Meal won. So, yeah, man, what, what's going to happen there? We're going to have... We're going to keep Johnny Cockstrong strong. Happy Meal the victor... And it's going to be manager interference. Not manager, well... It's not the winner's manager. Let's do outside interference. Okay. Yeah. I talked maybe to Scott. Okay. That looks good to me. So that match is going to happen later in the night, of course. Uh, we're going to have a... What was that match before? It was like a tag team match with... Uh, 
Kafu and then Ability. No, not that one. Wasn't there a match where Kindred was like, it was a tag team match, and Kindred was? Am I, am I completely like off base here? Whatever, do it again. We're gonna do a tag team match where it is Marcus Owens. It's Kindred. It's ACH, and we'll run him against um, Cage. Cage? Yeah? Cage. Alright. Uh, I don't know if we should do, like, limited involvement, or if we should just... How would the limited involvement work? We will leave the bulk of the action to the other wrestlers and get directly involved in big spots in the finish. Uh, it does have the... Yeah. Well, I don't have to run the match that long. Let's just do... Ah, uh, Fuck. Because Marcus Owens, if it was one, if it was one, it was if it was either Marcus Owens or Kindred, I would do limited involvement. But I don't want to have limited involvement because basically it'll just be ACH and Cage, and then Owens and Kindred come in for a big spot. That doesn't sound bad though. Like if you saw that on Raw or something, like with that formula, that wouldn't sound that wouldn't sound bad in my opinion. I know the match will, they'll be like, oh, the match suffered because there was limited involvement. No shit. No shit, there was limited involvement, but just fucking deal with it, okay? Apollo. We will have... We want winning this match. We can have... Hmm. See everybody's momentum. E minus, E plus. F plus. And... Wait, yeah, it was E plus, yeah. And then... E. He actually got up to an E. Damn. Alright. I'll give Marcus Owens the win. On... On Cage? Can't have him pin the champion. Right? Can't have him pin the champion. So let Marcus Owens win against... Unless Truth Martini cheats, and that's how... Let's do that. Because it'll be a no, dis no disqualification match at Hangover, but for before the Hangover... Uh, Marcus Owens is the victor via da, 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 da. can I run manager interference and count out I mean I mean uh, uh, DQ whereas it says truth martini comes in there and there and attacks uh, and attacks uh, Mark Owens can I do that I'm gonna give it a shot okay we want to keep we want to keep Kindred strong and have it be an open match, more or less. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. 25 more minutes. 17, Mr. Lower Mid Carter. Let's give Juice a win. Just because he needs a win. Juice and 17. Well, is there somebody, like, more on his level? Bravados, Creed. Creed, they're do he's doing his own thing. Now let's leave that. Okay, this will be a minor match. Apollo. We're going to run. Juice winning. And that's it. Juice winning, basically. That was right, right? Eight minutes, yeah. We gotta run nine. You can run one extra minute. How about that? Oh, also, I wanted to work the crowd. Definitely wanted to work the crowd. Okay. So we got that opening up the show. We got the match. Let's do the match first to work the crowd. Then that, like, keeps them hyped up. No? Can I do that first? Will that work? I hope so. I hope they're not super hot from the fucking... Truth Martini promo, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we'll do a celebration. I forgot where that is. Victory party. A, man a manager and his or her tag team. They need a manager. That's what they need. No, they don't. They don't need a manager. Save, skit, stable. 
Ugh. Talk show. Oh, yeah. I'd love a talk show one of these days because fuck it. And. Challenge. Celebration. Duh. Okay. I don't want to do Overness. That's not going to get him anything. Having just won a match. No. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Dalton Castle. Nelson Creed. Having. They literally just have, like, an eight minute long celebration. Nobody even crashes it or anything, but. That's just it, man. Nobility. Tag team. Celebration. Winning those tag team championships. And. Yeah. They could have a rematch with, uh. The Bravados. Got an E minus. Eh. How are the Bravados, like, momentum and stuff? Like, are they gonna. Well, we, we could keep having them. Yeah. Uh. Celebration. Mm, tag team ceremony ruined. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll have them... Because, like... Like, this isn't TNA. We're not just going to have a big downer segment and, like, not even have anything come from it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just watch... On and on and on, they go on and on and on. Nobody ever gets their comeuppance, nobody ever gets anything. Uh, that'd be some shit that fucking, or like, old WCW would do. Oh my god. Uh, so let's have that run like 10 minutes then, if, 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 uh, if the bravados are gonna come out. Okay. Oh, also, I do have a plan to hire the boys for Dalton Castle in the future. Uh you know, well for both of them. I mean they're they'll be their their royal servants more or less, so that'll that'll be pretty good. I'll 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 enjoy that. Uh nobility celebration ruined. This kind of sets up a rematch. It's gonna be rematch city basically. Need four more minutes still? Okay. Happy meal challenges. Okay. Who do we not have on the card? Adam Cole. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The big fucking angle we're going to do here. So, what's going to happen here is the finish of the tag match, right, is Marcus Owens getting hit, getting fucked up by Veda Scott, most likely by a... Did I have that right? No, Truth Martini. Why am I thinking Veda Scott? That's another match. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Truth Martini. So, Truth Martini hits Marcus Owens with the Book of Truth, and he's out cold. And so, as Kindred, uh, or as the DQ uh, finish goes, Adam Cole's going to come out and steal the championship. Breaks into another's locker after... Yep, that'll work. So, Adam Cole takes Marcus Owen's championship. What a bastard. So he steals the title. Everybody's freaking out. And that's how the show basically ends. Um, yeah. Yeah, basically. Basically, that's it there. Yep, three minutes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. So, Marcus Owen's gets laid out. ACH is getting beat up by Cajun Kindred. And uh, Adam Cole comes in, steals the title. And we haven't heard from Adam Cole since New Year's Bash. We don't know what's going on with him. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, Kafu. Can do something with Kafu? Maybe put him over Brandon Watts or something? Just, just for a match? Kafu and Brandon Watts. What's the... Uh, they had a match before? They've not had a match before. So we could do that. Um, let's see. Apollo. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Brandon Watts the flash pinfall here. Yeah. Give him a little something. It's like an upset, basically. We're gonna keep Kafu real strong. Because I didn't want to do another, like, heel manager finish. Like, no, I didn't want to keep doing that, so. Oh, I'm gonna script it. Because I want it to be precise. And then after that, we could basically have, like, 
We basically have a two on one attack. Where him and Veda Scott are just beating the What was Veda Scott doing earlier? I already forgot. She's interfering in that match. So Kafu can just beat up Brandon Watts after the match. Uh post match attack. The loser. Yep. Kafu and Brandon Watts. Oh, they're gone for like three minutes. Kafu attacks. Brandon Watts after the match. Okay. Does that sound good to everybody? Everybody good with that? Alright, so we'll run that. Okay. Truth Martini comes out for the initial promo. Juice Robinson goes over 17 to work the crowd. Happy Meal challenges Johnny Cockstrong. Kafu uh, loses to Brandon Watts, beats him up after the match. Nobility celebration is ruined. Happy Meal and Johnny Cockstrong. Uh, the tag match, and Adam Cole steals the title. So, we've got a very interesting setup for the Hangover pay-per-view. So, let's run the show. Lifted the crowd, okay. So, Truth Martini, like I said, he, he works himself up. He starts freaking out about Kindred losing the title. Thirty Solid 35 people, by the way. Thanks for showing up. Uh, <laughs> uh, comes out and just, you know, basically says that he's lobbied for Kindred's rematch. There's no, like, guaranteed rematches or anything, like, in this company, but he basically lobbied for it. Uh, Juice beats 17. They have good chemistry, so that is very good. That is very good. We're going to get Juice over again. F+. Plus. Segment lifted the crowd. That's good. And, uh, yeah, Happy Meal is just a dick. So that match is set up. They have good chemistry, too. We're finding good chemistry. This is good. These matches will carry over, most likely. That's great. Beta Scott helped Kafu. I'm sure she, like, beat up Brandon Watts with him. That was probably pretty entertaining. All right. Nobility have a big, ridiculous celebration for their tag team championships, but the bravados come out and rain on their parade, if you will. E minus. Uh, okay, that match happened. Hit him with the quarter pounder. <laughs> Hit him with the quarter pounder after interference from Veda Scott. Terrible Veda Scott. Okay, E plus. Off their game, getting tired. Okay, well that's that's understandable. So it would have been a better match had things gone more right and had they clicked as partners, but that's fine. Um that's that's fine. Sets up everything. And this happens. After he walks up to ringside table and grabs Owen's title belt, after smirking his disgust at Owens, Cole throws the belt over his shoulder and stalks to the back. What a great fucking angle that is. Excellent. Increased our popularity. That's all I. That's all I want. That's all I want. I'm gonna give Adam Cole. Adam Cole is just fucking great. You know that. While the car honks outside my window. Uh. Mm, who else? Who else gets the nod? Who else gets the nod? Okay. So without picking on the ones in the match, we'll give it to Truth. It was like, I can't give it to everybody there. Let's just give it to ACH, just because we he was he was having problems. So they did good. We're going to, you know what? Adam Cole, man, you're a good example. He's just so good. You can just picture in that angle him just having that fucking smirk on his fucking face. Uh, you know, being a total dick to, uh, you know, stealing the title. What an ass, you know? So I could just tell that Adam Cole really pulled that off. He was pleased. He didn't seem pleased. He was very pleased. He seemed. They seemed pleased. All right. So that went very well. That went very well, in my opinion. Uh, I probably say that after every show, but that's fine. And um, I think this might wrap up this episode because um, I have limited time. Number one and number two, I'm going to be working on the second episode of New Japan later tonight so that might wrap this episode up here we'll see what happens we'll see if there's like i'm not going to run another show but let's see like what else we got 
before the hangover. It's better than you expect. That's good. So at least we're putting on a decent show. Lost some money there, but that's life. So we've got hangover 2016 in 12 days. And yeah, I do apologize if this went short. I'm not sure. I can't really tell anymore. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be, we'll come back to this uh, next time. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I posted right before I started recording this episode uh, that I was recording. So you'll know before I even record the show when to expect the show and, and all of the above. You can give me feedback in Twitter. You can leave me feedback in the comments as I showed that I take them very seriously. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching and for being involved. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later.